I think it's possible that in 20 years time we can make cardiovascular disease a relatively uncommon condition. Good day to all of you. I'm Salim Yusuf and today we're going to discuss some new aspects of cardiovascular disease prevention but most importantly how we can implement them so that we get a big impact not only in patients but in entire populations. We have been working for many decades on the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular diseases. Our work involves over 100 countries, including Mexico and other Latin American countries. The good news is that over the last 40 years, we now have the tools to reduce cardiovascular disease by 50 to 60% and maybe even more. 80% of cardiovascular disease comes from pre-people who've never had cardiovascular disease before. The distinction between primary and secondary prevention should be blurred. If you prevent the first heart attack, you don't worry about preventing the second heart attack. And just like some decades ago, some diseases were very common and now they're uncommon. We now have, are in a position to dramatically alter uh, mortality and morbidity from heart disease and strokes, which is the commonest killer in the world. 